There is a Democrat candidate running for Senate right now who is smoking a fat blunt in his campaign ad and running on the platform of letting other people puff on the devil's lettuce. Every 37 seconds, someone is arrested for possession of marijuana. Since 2010, state and local police have arrested an estimated 7.3 million Americans for violating marijuana laws, over half of all drug arrests. Black people are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana laws than white people. States waste $3.7 billion enforcing marijuana laws every year. Most of the people police are arresting aren't dealers, but rather people with small amounts of pot, just like me. I'm Gary Chambers, and I'm running for the U.S. Senate, and I approve this message. I so hope that that guy got arrested. I assume he didn't, but I just, I have this dream that that guy is sitting there spreading complete lies about drugs and the criminal justice system, just complete made up nonsense. He's sitting there smoking his blunt and he's filming and he's saying, yeah, you got to vote for me because the most important issue in America, the reason I'm running for Senate is so that people can just smoke up that Peruvian parsley every day. That'll make America great. <laughs> and then they finish, they say, cut. Okay, we, we're good. We're good. Senate candidate guy. And then you just, you're like, woo, woo. And then the guy goes into the clink. This guy is not telling the truth about drug laws in America. We are told by the pothead contingent. Now, it's not even just the pothead contingent that I I have any problems with. And it's not even marijuana that I specifically have a problem with. It's It's the people who insist on the legalization of marijuana as a cure, as something that'll make America so great and it'll, it'll improve society. It's those people, the obsessive pro-legalization people. They are the reason that I want to ban every joint from America because they are so annoying and dumb and wrong (laughs) that I don't want to hear them anymore. And that's one of the reasons I want to do it. What this man is saying is not true. We're told that the prisons are just full of poor men, usually black men, by the way, who were arrested for simple possession. They had a joint. They were just smoking a little bit. Now they're going to jail for years. They're being at probably 90% of the prison population. It's just these poor men who were just trying to, just trying to puff on a little, little sin spinach and, and they got arrested. That's not true. According to the Hudson Institute, which did a great review of this, just 3.6% of state prison inmates are in jail for possession offenses of any kind. We're not, we're not talking about marijuana here. We're talking about heroin. We're talking about fentanyl. We're talking about really bad stuff that kills a lot of people. For possession of any kind, it's just 3.6%. When you, when you go up to the federal prisons, the number is even lower. It's 0.9%. So why this confusion? Well, it's actually not even just the 3.6 and the 0.9%. The numbers are actually even lower because drug traffickers usually plea down their, their cases. So someone who's in prison for possession very often is in prison for drug trafficking and they just plead it down. And so then you, you see them there for simple possession. In 2014, which is the most recent year for which the Hudson Institute has compiled its data, the number of inmates sentenced to federal prison for marijuana possession, take a guess. If that pothead Senate candidate is to be believed, you'd think what? 50,000 people? 10,000 people? It sh- certainly at least you'd say seven or 8,000 people, right? because the prisons are just filled with this. Probably you'd think even, even more. No, the number uh, was 75 people, not 75,000, not 7,500, 75 people in 2014 were sentenced to federal prison for marijuana possession. 97% of federal inmates who are in for drugs are in for drug trafficking. Add to that, that last year, 100,000 Americans died from drug overdoses, leading cause of death for young Americans. That was up 30% over the previous year. And these idiots think that the the way to deal with that, our our fellow Americans poisoning themselves to death, the way to deal with that historic surge in drug overdoses 
is to legalize drugs because of a problem that doesn't exist, namely the problem of mass incarceration for simple possession, which is just a fantasy. Lock that away with the tooth fairy and the Easter bunny. I don't know, I don't know how that Senate candidate could have come up with such stupid, fantastical ideas that are so divorced from reality. Oh yeah, I know, because he's super high. That's probably, <laughs> that's probably why he came up with it. Good grief. If the, if the smoke clouds would clear away, not, not from the air in front of him, but from his brain, he could look at the real numbers and realize that, that what he's selling is a really bad idea. And it's unfortunate because so many conservatives who are in, under the sway of the libertines on the right, the, you know, the, maybe the libertarians even, who say, well, it's not the government's right to stop you from doing drugs. They, they think this is fine too. If you believe that giving that dude his way that pothead Senate candidate who thinks that puffing a drug is the most important issue in, in American politics. If you think that doing what he wants is going to make America better, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. Hey, you. Thanks for, thanks for being here. I'm glad to see you. I always like seeing you when you come around these parts. Unfortunately, sometimes our, our pals here in the big tech world don't want to give you notifications about these new videos. So to maximize your chance of getting the notifications, ring that bell, subscribe. Also, if you want to get the unvarnished, uncensored, too hot for big tech version of the show, head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Type in The Michael Knowles Show, subscribe for free, and leave a five-star review. We'll see you then.